Joining us now in the studio is former Major General and politician Uzi Dayan to discuss the role that Israel should be playing in the Syrian civil war. Thank you so much for joining us. It's, it's fun to be here. Thanks. So let's begin. You know, Israeli leaders, today we're seeing it all over news, they're debating over whether or not to bomb the crematorium near Damascus in Syria. What kind of impact would doing so have on the state of Israeli relations generally in the Middle East? Well, it, it does have an impact, you know. Basically, we don't mess in what's going on in Syria. Our interests are very, very simple. One, we don't want the Syrian to, uh, to, to put any danger on our citizens. We want a calm border, we protect our citizens. Two, we don't want the uh, organizations like Hezbollah to have a weapon uh, which are kind of strategic, like uh, a shore to uh, sea or surface right. to sea missiles. And finally, we don't want Iran to build another uh, outpost uh, uh, in uh, uh, Syria. Uh, but when we hear about the crematorium in Syria, it's a, it's a Jewish and democratic state, so our Jewish uh, heart uh, take it very, well, very seriously. Absolutely. I mean, many of the leaders here are now comparing what is happening in Syria to what took place during World War II against the Jews. But at the same time, you know, we're seeing other Israeli leaders who believe that the United States should be the one that would carry out an airstrike against these crematoriums since it was the U.S. that actually revealed you know, this information. We have to be just and smart in the same time. We, we can't influence everything. We can change the situation in Syria. And we don't have friends in Syria, you know. In, in, in other places, there are good guys and bad guys. In Syria, there are not good guys. There are bad guys, very bad guys, especially, exceptionally bad guys, etc. So we, we don't influence what's going on in Syria. So if we have an opportunity, I know, to bomb a crematorium, uh, maybe. I'm not sure that Israel is to do it. There are the Americans and the Russians in uh, Syria, and they are running the show. We don't want to be part of it. More than that, uh, you know, Bashar Assad, the slaughter, more than uh, half a million people so far. So the point is not whether he's not burning or not 50 people. He is murdering more than 50 people a, a day, and nobody cares. So the question is whether or not Israel has an obligation to be helping these people, right? We have a kind of obligation, but the way to, to implement this obligation is, is more to talk with the Americans and the Russians about it. And above all, I don't think that Israel should be the one who eliminate uh, Bashar al-Assad. He's not our friend, but, uh, but we don't want the other people. I don't know. ISIS is uh, better, or the, the crazy Sunnis in uh, Syria. So what I'm saying is that Israel should stay out of it to help humanitarian help, uh, and, and, and uh, internationally, I mean, uh, in a diplomatic relation and uh, an open uh, a line with uh, Washington and Moscow in the same time, I don't think that Israel is the one who should uh, go and make the messy Syria even more messy. Well, I guess we're just going to have to wait and see what happens. Thank you so much for joining us. Sure.